So what's up, people? It's Robert Bassano. I had a little bit of time to throw out a little video for you people. Um, I was listening to uh, some videos Neil deGrasse Tyson put out uh, just for simple interest in physics. So this particular video is interesting. I'm not going to make any assumptions or presumptions or claims of what he may mean or what he may not mean. I'm going to let you guys listen to it and you come to your own conclusion of what he may be referring to and what he may believe really. I mean, what he really may be believing. OK, so I'm going to play this video at a minute and 11 seconds. That's where it's going to start. And just be patient. Listen to what he says. Play it as many times as you feel you need to and make your own determination okay because this he might have just provided all of us with some fuel for the fire okay here we go so uh Immanuel kant as as and a few others tried to ask the question and answer the question how is it that the entire solar system the planets and the moons all orbit in a plane and they orbit in the same direction like, what are the odds? Yeah, the odds? All right, so uh, what they hypothesized was something called, literally, the nebular hypothesis, which has borne out in, in the centuries of observations and data that we've taken since then. And it basically, you start out with a massive gas cloud. Mm -hmm. It collapses. As you collapse, you begin to spin faster. This is like what happens when a skater draws in his or her arms. Right. What happens when that happens? They spin faster. faster. That's what happens. So as you spin faster, in the plane of that spinning, mm -hmm. the material can't fall in because, like, the centrifugal forces prevent that. Right. Okay? Technically, they're centripetal forces. Centripetal, yes. Yeah, but it's centrifugal is colloquial. Right? Right. So, so in the, in the axis, of, uh, uh, in the sort of the equator of the spinning, it can't come in because of the centripetal forces. Correct. But top to bottom, it can collapse without hesitation. So what you get is a flattened disk that where everything is orbiting in the same direction. Oh my god, that makes perfect sense! Exactly! That is awesome! All right, and so, uh, so this dude figured this out in the middle. So you heard the guy. As soon as Neil deGrasse Tyson says things flatten out, the plane flattens out to a disc. The guy says, oh, that makes perfect sense. Oh, my God. Perfect sense. <laughs> I guess the flat plane does make perfect fucking sense, man. It absolutely does. Because the rest of the solar system is like that. You best fucking believe the Earth is a flat plane fucking disc. Shaped like an ellipsoid. Maybe a flat ellipsoid, not some sort of egg-shaped type of fucking bubble, pressurized bubble. But let's see. Let's see what else he says. And it's been working ever since. Now, suppose, suppose you are moving very slowly in this, and you're not collapsing quickly. You can actually form stars that don't actually collapse into a disk. If you form star, here's the reason why it sticks to a disk it's because it's made of mostly gas right. at the beginning, and gas can't pass through itself any more than one m hot marshmallow can pass through another hot marshmallow. What happens when two hot marshmallows hit? You get a bigger hot marshmallow. Well, that's all. Well, they stick. They yes, stick. so they stick and become a bigger one. So, so when you have a gas cloud collapsing, it sticks to itself in the plane, and it doesn't collapse within the plane. It stays flat. Everything else collapses pancake style to it. Do you know our, our galaxy is flatter than a pancake. It's as flat as a crepe, actually. A crepe? A crepe. <laughs> we have a delicious <laughs> galaxy. We are 100,000 light years across and about 100 light years thick. So we are a 1,000 to 1 ratio of thickness to uh, diameter. Wow. And that's basically a crepe. So, yeah, it's a not a pancake. It's not a pancake. Not a, yeah, it's yeah. a crepe. We need to. So, so Kat, you okay? You, what, we square? Yeah, that was a great okay. answer, man. Uh, that was, mine should be blown daily. Yes. So have some galaxy for breakfast tomorrow. Every time I eat a crepe, I think of our galaxy. That's actually. awesome. You got it. Thanks. 